Okay. So we're starting off at the first house here. In total, there's four houses. It's like a whole street of them. I'm gonna be checking them all out today. You know, not gonna be a super detailed video of each house since we have four of them. Gonna move a little bit faster, but we'll still make sure to stop and look at all the uh, interesting things we see along the way. You can already see it. Looks like this place has been empty for a while. Okay, doors wide open. Head into the first house here. Already looks pretty interesting. It's a cool room here, so have a fireplace there. I mean, the, the actual like unit itself and the mantle and everything is gone, but wood burning fireplace, that's nice. And then here we have an entire mirrored wall with like some beams up there on the ceiling. It's pretty cool. Very low ceiling, I can reach up there easily. Yeah, pretty cool. A lot of decay starting, like these have been empty for a while. It's pretty cool here. Steps. Let's go up this way here first. Need to grab my light here. Toilets broke. Oh, they weren't joking. Yeah, toilets flipped over. People have obviously been in here like stealing copper and stuff. This kind of looks 80s to me. I have no idea when this house was built. Could be older, maybe it was renovated in the 80s. Here's the garage. Pretty big garage, you could probably fit two cars in here. Some, just some garbage and random stuff kind of scattered around in here. Somebody like was taking all the screws out for this door. They were trying to take that for some reason. Wow, this is pretty cool here. Very unique house. So here's your main front door. Look at how they piled all those like bricks and stuff in front so you can't open it. But yeah, really cool place. Seems almost kind of like, maybe this is like a, an older house and it's like a mid-century modern kind of thing. It's pretty cool out front there too. We have some glass blocks. Unfortunately, we cannot go out front of any of these houses because they have um, like live cameras set up along the fence. But you know, you can still go in the back. It's all wide open, right? Yeah, these like windows here are really cool. I wonder if this is like originally the front of the house and then they added like this whole room on. I have no idea. Fireplace. I don't think this is real stone. No, it's just wallpaper. Still pretty cool. Nice to have real fireplaces. Oh, there's an upstairs here too. Didn't, I thought that was just a bungalow. That's cool. Come over here. Another sliding door that goes out to this pretty cool courtyard. With the glass blocks. room here probably in the master bedroom big closet there and then we've got a bathroom here yeah that's just a, well you know what let's go take a look back here don't want to spend too long in each house but oh the brown bomber's definitely been here oh it's all over the seat oh it stinks in here yeah <laughs> that's pretty gross This is pretty cool here. I'd assume this would have been the living room. Um, you know what, let's just go upstairs. I think it's a pretty small area upstairs. And then we'll look in the kitchen and the basement. So that's just like crawl space in there. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. I like this room, it's very bright in here. A lot of natural light. Graffiti kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We're, we are in the city, so it's kind of what to be expected. This is pretty cool, too. 
Wow. As you can see, it's a pretty big backyard here. You know what, this used to be a tennis court. That's crazy. See the post there and the other post there for the net? This is a tennis court and it's been abandoned so long. It's turned into a forest. That's crazy. Was a nice chandelier in here. We have an Eiffel Tower, like sticker on the wall. Pretty cool, so maybe they were French. And then, got a bathroom there. Yeah, this room here is really nice. Okay, I guess that's it to the upstairs, yeah. This is pretty cool here. Really unique house. So, oh, we even have a skylight back here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, everything in this house seems like it's from like the 80s. So I assume that's when it was built. I have no idea though. Like this could have all been renovated. I can try to find out. Because I know some of the other houses along here. I know at least a couple other ones were built in like the 50s, so. I don't think it's that old though. What's back here? Oh, this is the basement, okay. Let's go check this out quickly. So the house is built on a hill. So it's kind of like a walk out. I think there's a door down here. We'll see. I've taken a quick walk through of some of the houses. Yeah, these are all just like unfinished rooms. And since we have a few other houses to check out, we're just gonna go through this pretty quick. Really gross toilet, sinks pulled out. Oh, perfect, there's a door here. Well, let's just go out here, I guess. Uh, maybe we won't, actually. I don't feel like climbing over all this stuff, so. We'll go back out upstairs, and then we'll head over to the next house. Where was that? Oh, there's the stairs. stealing copper. Yeah, pretty cool place. Look at that barbecue there. Yeah. So there's the next house there. We have to go out and around the back. Looks like I said, they have cameras up front. But yeah, it's crazy. This is a tennis court. You would never know. built in like the 50s, I think. And again, the door's just wide open. Let's see what's going on in here. Wow, the decay in here is a lot worse. All the paint peeling off the walls. Oh wow, look at this. Yeah, this is really decayed in here. Got an old CRT TV there. Wood burning fireplace, that's nice. Look at like the moss and stuff growing in here, that's crazy. Definitely been empty for a while. Roof's leaking a lot. 
Yeah, like it's dripping water. It's not even raining outside today. Here's the banister. Got a nice wrought iron banister. And the front door is partly open too. Glass blocks are nice. Look at that. Pretty cool window there. It's like an octagon, but like taller, kind of. I don't know what exactly that shape would be called thing, just an octagon. Closet there. Oh, everything's moldy in here. Gross. You guys look at the uh, stairs and stuff from here. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's gonna be gross going down into the basement. Come over here. This looks like the office, judging by the wood paneling. Gross. I don't like really trust these floors too much either. Yeah. Look at the light. This is the light fixture for the room. And it's just like completely come down. A little bathroom in here. Oh. That toilet looks really gross. Oh, yeah, the brown bomber's definitely been here. That's disgusting. Okay, so that goes back to the door that we came in. And then here's the kitchen, which is a little bit newer. This could even be like 90s. Everything in here is just so moldy. Should we check in the fridge? Let's see what's in the fridge. I don't even want to touch this handle. Like, it's so gross. Oh, oh it's actually not that bad. Let's see what's down here. And that door is wide open out to the street. So we're gonna stay away from that. I think this goes into the garage, let's see. And the garage is wide open, so. We're just going to kind of take a really quick look from here. Head back into the house before somebody sees us. And normally I wouldn't be so worried, but we're on like a really busy road. And they have like live cameras out here, like I said, so. It's the light fixture that fell down. Yeah, the decay in here is unreal. Look at this. You can see right outside up there. Yeah, this house is like way beyond saving. These all just need to be torn down. Got a bedroom here. Look at the, the glass for the window fell down. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna walk in some of these rooms cause I don't feel like falling through the floor. It's just a closet in there. And this room seems a bit safer. That's a cool light fixture. Really interesting. Yeah, I like this and you can see all like the different colors of paint that have been put on over the years. And as they all start peeling off. Wow, yeah, the ceiling really coming in. There's another closet over here. Were they connected? Maybe they were, I don't know. But there's holes like through the roof where you can see the sun everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna be long before this starts like collapsing. I'm sure it'll be demolished before then. Another bathroom here. Should we check for the brown bomber? Ooh. Oh, that's horrible. Gross. Okay, let's get out of this bathroom. That stinks. 
one more bedroom up here. The windows in here are like fairly new. What's the date on these? Uh, these do not have a date on them. But the, those like, the hardware on those is very like 1950s. So yeah, I'm sure that's when this was built. Yeah, really bad shape. Well, let's head downstairs. Check out the basement, which I'm sure is gonna be really gross. Might be flooded. I don't know, let's go see. This, the floor here is like broken. Well, I really don't trust this floor. It's not flooded. It's actually not as bad down here as I thought. Okay, there's a basement entrance door here that's wide open. So they had a little kitchen down here, fireplace. That's some cool wallpaper back there. <laughs> Bathroom over there, and that's just like a really moldy, unfinished room. Oh, no, I didn't want to open this one. Oh, that's not, that one's not too bad. Somebody's probably taken a dump in it, but at least it's not filled like the ones upstairs. really sketchy. Let's get out of this basement. Um, where did we go? Oh, this way. There's another one after it, and then the one that we were just in here, and then the one down there that we had done. Uh, let's find a way around this fence. And it looks like we're just gonna have to hop over it, so. This one's in bad shape. A lot of graffiti in here. Nice front doors though. Oh wow, this is pretty nice. Nice big bay window there in the front. Oh yeah, kids have just trashed this place. Looks like the kitchen was pretty nice. Let's see what the calendar on the fridge here is. 2016. And this one's 2015. So yeah, it looks like these houses were, were abandoned around 2016. Yeah, this kitchen would have been pretty nice. There's a big speaker down there too. Fireplace there. It looks like it was a real fireplace. Yeah, it was, and then they just put the gas insert in there. And it could be electric, I'm not sure. Yeah, because I see a plug back there. There's a big window here. And this comes down into the garage. Just a lot of garbage in here. That's about it. 
really too much to see in there. Pot lights are hanging down from the ceiling. There's the back deck, which we will not be walking on. That, that is in bad shape. Come into here. This is the bathroom. Wow, that's in bad shape. Yeah, this house is in bad shape. And it looks like it was renovated, like fairly recently too. Somebody really smashed up those mirrored closet doors. Smash these closet doors. There's like a new post for railing. I don't know where that came from. And this connects to like another bedroom here. That's kind of cool. A lot of broken glass down there. And we have one of these old like projection TVs. on that. Alright, well, let's go take a look down in the basement. Yeah, I apologize if it seems like I'm going a bit fast through this stuff, but we've got a lot of houses to cover, and I mean, these aren't, like, great houses. They don't really, like, deserve their own video, so. Okay, let's take a walk around here. Bathroom that's been completely ripped apart. A lot of mold down here. Yeah, the electrical panel's all scrapped. Okay, look at this. They broke the fireplace with like this massive pole. Yeah, it always bothers me when people vandalize these places. Like, what's the need to break that? There's no reason to smash that. Yeah, a lot of mold. I don't want to spend too long down here. That's weird. Having a window up there. Hmm. It's like a transom, but not above the door. <laughs> Never seen that in like this era of house. Strange. Looks like this is like an office space. Yeah, just a bunch of garbage in there. Take a quick look in this room. Chair. Furnace, hot water tank. Looks like this was, yeah, the laundry room. Yeah, I, I can't really like get back there, but completely ripped apart. Let's go and check out the last house. I've not been to the last one yet. It's 
So I'm not sure if it's open or not. So. I don't know how I'm gonna get to the next one yet, so I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so we just made it into the last house down here. Now you guys will already see almost right away. This isn't a regular house. Looks like it was converted into some kind of a business. Not sure exactly what it was yet, but it looks to be some kind of like doctor's office or pharmacy. Yeah, like you can see the pharmacy signs there. I mean, we are on the corner of like a very busy intersection. Yeah, so we'll come in here. This is like the front room. I have to be careful to stay away from the windows. There's a pharmacy downstairs. Hmm. Oh, a stone wall there is nice. Yeah, I've got to be really careful near these windows. Stay in front of the door here. Off, yeah, so maybe it was like a doctor's office. I don't know, we'll see if we can figure that out. So we take a look around ceiling size. So yeah, this is very like mid-century modern, this kind of stuff here. I mean, most of the house has been like, you know, changed to make it into like a pharmacy. Yeah. Yeah, look, you have these posters healthcare stuff. Okay, so we looked at this room here. Guess we'll head down this way first. Y yeah, maybe this is a house originally? I'm not sure. Okay, so here's like the window here. So I guess you'd come in and then this is where you'd get like your stuff from all over the ground. Here's like another window I can open. Yeah, this is like very open to outside. So this is where they'd keep all like their stuff, I guess. I guess somebody threw a piece of concrete through that window. Yeah, let's get out of this room. It's too open to outside. I don't want to get seen in here. Sink down there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know exactly what all these rooms were used for. This one's a bit darker. Let me grab my light. Okay. Have like a film over the glass. Fireplace there. It's definitely older. Yeah, a lot of decay starting in here. Yeah, I mean, these look like the cabinets that you'd see in like a doctor's office, so I guess. This is where like patients would come to get like checked out or whatever. Let's head into this room here. Looks like this is like an office. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend a long time in each room. Bathroom, sink, toilet, and then just a big closet back there. Oh, it's hard to walk around in here. There's so, so much like debris and stuff on the floor. Yeah, a lot of decay in here. Look at all the paint.
and just ignore all the graffiti and stuff. Because I know some of it is a little bit offensive. Doing my best not to show it, but it's everywhere, so. Yeah, copper's stolen. They flipped the whole cabinet over. Yeah, this place in bad shape. All the furniture's been thrown around in here. Can't even really walk in there too much. Then we have a door at the end here that's partly open. Not gonna go out there. Somebody's finished this one now. Yeah, look at the decay. Like these have been empty for a while. They're in pretty bad shape. This long like hallway here is kind of creepy. I almost feel like somebody's gonna like jump out of one of the rooms or something. Oh, tripping over stuff. Okay, so that's where we came in. Just a lot of random papers and stuff on that door. Bathroom here. Please do not throw paper towels in the toilet. Well, the brown bomber clearly <laughs> didn't listen to that because it's filled with paper towel and crap. It's kind of cool up there. Yeah, I like how they have the, uh, like frosted wire glass here because it lets a lot of light into the hallway. It's nice. Okay, lab and pharmacy downstairs. Hmm. Well, we'll head down there in a few minutes. A few more rooms to look at here. And that window's wide open. rooms are pretty similar. Wow. Yeah, like people really rip these apart. Stealing all that copper. Which I think it's stupid. Like, really stupid. Like, you don't even... Get, like, you have to get a lot of copper to actually, like, make money. painted. It's probably a bit older. Come back here. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. We still have the doctor's like, um, what do you call this? Like chair or table. It's pretty cool. So I guess the other rooms would have had these too. Yeah, I did not expect this. I thought it was gonna be a regular house. But apparently it's like a doctor's office. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's go take a look at the basement. I've not been down in the basement yet, so. shape down here. Back into this room here. It's very similar to the rooms that were upstairs. Hopefully there's something interesting down here that's a bit different. apart. It's cool. Got a 
fireplace in here. That's pretty old. Not sure what this room would have been. Is this window open? Yeah, it is. Got a printer there. This window's like completely shattered. Alarm panel. Oh wow, look at this. Yeah, this is like the pharmacy down here. Closet. There's the stairs we came down. Got a little bathroom in there. And the room behind is um, the room we were just in. Electrical panel and stuff. Keep door locked at all times. Huh. Do not turn off light. Not sure what this room looks like for. Oh, I guess they had the extras in here. But this this door is like locked. There's no like handle on it, so we can't get in there. It's too bad. Just a storage room here. Maybe we can get into that room from here? No, that's just like a furnace and stuff. Yeah, same with here. Oh, that's creepy with the light hanging there. Okay. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this abandoned neighborhood here. So we saw all the houses, took a quick walk through them, so. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you on the next adventure.